for the latest on Indigenous issues, voices, music, and entertainment on Net News Ledger. This is Amanda Perot's latest report. So at the Morgan Nishnabe Nikaj here at Net News Ledger. We are at the Marina Park and we have Midnight Shine with us tonight. Hello, Adrian. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, so, what do you think of Thunder Bay? It was oh, it was a uh, um, really welcoming crowd tonight. Uh, I love the uh, the lake. Uh, I'm looking at the Sleeping Giant right now, and I've heard I've heard uh, stories from my grandparents about about this area. So it's it's uh, nice to actually see it. Nice, right on. Like uh, na native yeah. legends. Yeah, yeah. And what this area means and what it what what the it symbolizes so it's it's really nice to come and actually you know just take that in and be, be near be near this area must have been really busy for you today I mean. yeah uh, most days are like that when we're out doing shows they can get up early six sometimes before six and we do you know sometimes we do interviews with, in, in studio really early um, and that can go like all day then we do load-ins and then then we do sound check and then the show happens and then all the stuff after the show by the time I'm done it's usually uh, I'm exhausted oh, totally right <laughs> and you gotta do it all again the next day <laughs> yeah. so are you heading back like what's happening after the show um, we're, we're gonna go to Kenora we're gonna do a show there tomorrow and we're gonna be there overnight then I'll be driving back to uh, Timmins from Kenora on Friday with the band, so that's quite a quite a uh, drive, and then home for a bit. Um, planning to to go out and spend some time uh, out on the land with my family. Been looking forward to, to doing that for for over a month now. Wow, I mean, when's the last time you've seen your family? Oh, I, I was I left home early July. Um, I, I got to go home really quick uh, a couple of weeks ago um, to see my wife kids and my grandbaby and it was really really nice uh, to just get home and just be able to just take a breath you know <laughs> and I really really missed my uh, my kids and grand grandbaby it was really nice oh, it must give you some strength now to get back on the road again yeah for sure um, that's where I find my strength is in my family and you know uh, my beliefs and everything uh, um, even in spirituality helps me stay focused and, w and remember why I'm doing this not only for myself but for my family my friends uh, my community and all First Nations uh, across across this country that in we are so like I'm, 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 I don't know if you're into politics or you know you're keeping up with the yeah, um, I somehow, sometimes I guess, tend to get dragged into it uh, unwillingly. <laughs> um, I think uh, you know, I know I'm very aware of what's going on in, in this country in terms of in terms of politics, uh, um, also in, in the on the Indian side as well. Uh, I, I know what goes on in communities because I you know I see it firsthand, experience it. So. Not sure if I'm ever going to go in that direction, uh, but maybe someday. But for now, my uh, my ambitions uh, are to pursue pursue uh, th uh, this music industry and to see how far I can take take my music and uh, and how many people I could hopefully help uh, through my music and songs. Yeah. Like, is there? Do you do you feel that there's a political message in some of your songs? Yeah, um, there, there's definitely a, you know, a, some of the writing is politically driven. I've always said that since day one. Um, I've always had something to say about, you know, where I come from and, and the experiences of I, I've had as a First Nations individual growing up in not only Northern Ontario, but in a small community and also going off to school and encountering some of the challenges there like racism, um, you know, all the stuff that I've gone through has only, I think, made me a better person and and helped me sort of, um, you know, grow into who I am today uh, as an artist. 
a message like I know that you uh, do a lot of advocating for youth yeah and ins inspiration a message to the youth especially here in Thunder Bay yeah I mean it's tough right now in a lot of communities right across particularly northern Ontario and it really it really is heart uh, heart-wrenching to hear some of the things that are going on and uh, and also in the city coming in I had a lot of mixed feelings and emotions about coming to Thunder Bay um, I've been following uh, all the all the tragedies and the tragic stories uh, that have been coming out of this area um, you know for me uh, I've always uh, tried to find strength in my values um, in, in my parents and grandparents and in, and others that uh, have always told me to be strong uh, to to uh, be strong up here and also be strong here uh, to endure some of these um, some of the life conditions that we have to um, experience as First Nations in Canada and to never give up and always have hope and if you're struggling you know to to find that help and get that help because it's there you just got to go and get it um, and reach out to somebody um, I know for sure people are going to want to help for sure I mean and faith right I mean it must have yeah. took a lot of faith and belief to get where you were today yeah a lot of hard work yeah you know a lot of sacrifices uh, have been made not only by me but the others in the band um, you know leaving our families to pursue this this uh, music career uh, takes you to different places the industry is also very uh, very very hard on you it can can eat you up pretty quick so you gotta you gotta stay focused and uh, and be prepared to work really hard long hours um, you know <clears throat> I always say that getting up on that stage for a half hour or an hour set uh, is really only one small part of this business uh, there's a lot of work that leads up to that and but it's all worth it you know at the end of the night I, I think it's all worth it you know getting up there and sharing uh, your music and your message with the uh, with the audience so after the tour is over what are you are you guys got any um, desire to make more music together yeah we've been writing now for quite a while um, working on our third album We've done some recording already, and we're looking at making a big push to get it released before before November. Um, so it, we're on track. Um, we got some exciting stuff we're working on. We're really, really happy with the direction that we're taking musically uh, um, and and its style. And uh, I just can't wait to get it out because I poured my uh, I poured my soul into some of the, some of those songs, and it, it really. To me, it really uh, it means a lot to get it out to as many people as I can. You're the only songwriter. Well, yeah, historically, uh, I've been the only songwriter in the group. Uh, although Stan is is capable of writing songs, he's done a lot of writing outside of the band. Um, Zach is also songwriting now. He's been doing a lot of a lot of songwriting. Uh, the art guitarist, so he's contributing as well. So we we're looking at ways to to try and collaborate with with each other uh, for the new record, something we haven't done in the past. So um, they're great, great guys, and I I owe a lot of I owe a lot to them for getting me this far. Uh, without them, I don't think I could have been been here today. So I'm really happy uh, that they're they're with me all 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 along the way. Well, when I came, right, when I heard you guys, man, it really like you could feel the power in it, and yeah. seeing the lineup after you guys played, and watching all the, you know, the people that were excited to come up and see you guys. Like, yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's really humbling for me uh, um, just to have all the people come up and want to meet us. Uh, and it's some of the young kids that come around and it's, it's really truly is uh, um, an awesome experience that we have that impact on people whether you're First Nation or non First Nation yes for sure I love the tattoo was it on um... Zach yes. yeah yeah he's a, he's a he's a tattooed guy 
<laughs> he is. That's an awesome message that yeah. he has on his yeah. tattooed on his arm. So he does his own tattoos. No, uh, he. I think he goes and he gets some work done there with the people he, he he knows and where where he's living right now. Yeah. Well, I guess you got to have a second job too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. It, they. It's uh. It was funny because our first real tour. It was really tough because I think oh, one week I think we were eating one meal a day, just <laughs> just to uh, to be able to you know get out there and get across the country and tour. It's 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 not easy, and I really learned what it meant um, that expression I've heard. We're starving artists because <laughs> it certainly uh, experienced that in our in our tour. <laughs> Um, what was the best place on the tour? Like uh, you must have went through like a lot of exciting places, like Vancouver. And yeah, Vancouver was probably uh, one of the the, the better uh, um, places that we visited. Um, each each community and city kind of has it, its own uh, um, excitement. Uh, and Vancouver, of course, had the you know the beautiful trees and, and the sea, um, and all. We had fun, you know, performing in that venue. Uh, we also got to meet some really cool people out there. Uh, the Blues Fest in Ottawa, we played there, and we got to share the stage with Tom Petty. Uh, you know, I just, I still can't believe I was on the same stage as him. And just to get to be able to see, you know, somebody who I grew up listening to, uh, you know, there doing that on the stage, and here I was doing the same thing, sort of, but early on in my career and I, I found myself kind of reflecting on that that day uh, in uh, over the next other course of the past, probably next few weeks because mm -hmm. I walked on stage and I, and I saw all Tom Betty's guitars like there must have been 20 maybe yeah he had one for like every every song and he had his techs and he had all his guitar techs were there and then he had a, he had his buses and he had like there's just so much there and i couldn't believe it was just unbelievable for me and here i was with my same guitar i started out with six years ago because i can't afford to buy a new one so, <laughs> here i was going on stage and i was like whoa wait a second here you know am i ever going to be uh, you know as good as somebody like that or or is this is this as far as i'm as, as i'm going to get in this in this business so a lot of things like that go through your head I think it's also a little bit intimidating when you see that and also very uh, uh, inspiring and a lot of different emotions and thoughts coming through your mind when you when you're around uh, that type of uh, environment and, and people that's great so just keeping yourself motivated and believing in yourself mm -hmm. yeah yeah just to keep going working hard and getting better at you know, performing, getting better at writing songs and, you know, keep making inroads with all, you know, all the different people I meet in the industry um, and just be the best person I can be for everyone, you know, whether you're not part of the industry, whether you're, you know, somebody who's from a northern community, uh, um, you know, a young First Nation uh, uh, person or whatever, we, we're just trying to be our best for everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, as I said, that um, I love this, the song "Sister Love," and to hear that your younger sister had had written it with um, with you, right? I meant. Yeah, yeah. She wrote that poem and she sent it to me, and she sends a bunch of stuff to me, and a lot of it I can't use, but some of it I, you know, I can use. Yeah. I think we've done like three or four songs together, and so I took that and I really like the 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 lyrics that are, she had in there, so. I asked her, "Can I use this then and rearrange it?" Yeah, yeah, sure. Do whatever you do whatever you want with it, and uh, that's how that whole thing came about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a really good song. I like I like singing that, performing it. Yeah, so it kind of it, it reminds me of like the earth and the water and how yeah. it, how important it is. Yeah, I got a lot more out of it, you know, especially what's going on with um, the the murdered and missing women in Curry, You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of women out there need a lot of inspiration and. Think that that's a really good song yeah I agree and uh, for sure um, it's tough out there even for our, our indigenous women right across the country North America uh, and I, I always felt like it's not my place to write about it um, 
and I've always really tried to tread lightly when it came to those those types of issues. And I know there are a lot of people out there very vocal about it, some very powerful voices that are speaking out against it. Um, also artists that are very uh, courageous and not afraid to say, you know, um, stuff to, to get our governments going and, and get people thinking, you know, about uh, these issues. Uh, well, thank you so much, Adrian. I hope you guys have, you know, a drive safely, safe yeah, travels for sure. For sure. And I hope you get to see a little bit more of Thunder Bay before you leave. If uh, you yeah. don't. <laughs> I hope so. I think this is about all I'm going to see is this area. <laughs> but I like it. It's nice. There's quite a crowd out there, and I'm really pleased. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miigwech. Yeah. So this is Nijway Tamog Nishnabe Nikaz with Net News Ledger. Chimigwech. <laughs> Thank you.